sweeties. I'm sorry I was kind of gone for a week. It's all because I was crazy finishing all my essays for uni. But it's all done now and I'm back with three videos a week. Yay! <laughs> so today I'm gonna show you how I did this makeup. And I'm gonna show you my outfit. It's gonna be kind of like a get ready with me. Oh my god, that's too hot. Seriously. Ooh. Oh, Jesus, these lights I use to film are so warm, I'm dying. Anyway, before we carry on and start the video, please subscribe because I post videos three times a week and you automatically become a unicorn. Also, like this video because it really helps the channel. <laughs> Jesus, that's scary. <laughs> anyway, I'm just trying to show you I'm wearing these blue circle lenses by EOS. I'm gonna start applying the lightest shade of concealer by Makeup B with a pastel pink beauty blender because, you know, it being pink really affects the end result of course <laughs> and I'll apply it under my eyes to hide my dark circles and also everywhere else where I would apply a highlighter because this shade is a little bit lighter than my skin tone so it's gonna kind of work as a highlighter as well you might also want to apply some liquid foundation but I won't because I don't think it's really necessary now because I don't have any spots or anything like that at the moment luckily but I will apply some foundation powder on top of of the concealer just so there's a matte finish and it lasts longer so basically it'll go on my eyes on my cheekbones on my nose and on my chin then I'll get a contouring brush and these brown shades on my pigment palette and I'm gonna do some contouring that's a good way to improvise if you're out of bronzer or a darker foundation powder then with a smaller brush I'm gonna contour my nose but just a little bit I don't want it to be too obvious or too dark then I'll get a smaller contouring brush and these golden silver pigment and I'll apply it on my cheekbones, my nose bridge and pretty much everywhere where usually the highlighter goes. Now it's the fun part, I'm gonna get this holographic glitter by MAC and because it's a very thin glitter I'm gonna use it as a highlighter and I'll apply it with my fingers, I like to apply some on top of my lips as well and pretty much everywhere <laughs> and then I'll just blend it in with the brush I was using before but not too much, I want it to be quite dramatic and visible. Now it's time for eyebrows and I'm gonna use this light brown eyebrow pencil it's kind of hard to say eyebrows and brown in the same sentence <laughs> or maybe it's just because I'm foreign <laughs> when it's done I'm gonna apply some of this lovely finishing wax so our eyebrows are not gonna melt during the day and it's also quite important to brush it a little bit with one of these eyebrow brushes just to keep everything in place and tidy and to separate the hairs a little bit so it looks more natural then I'm gonna get a small brush and I'll apply some white eyeshadow under the brows and on the inner corner of my eyes and on top of that I'm gonna apply some more glitter because why not? I just love shiny things. Then I'm gonna use a fan brush to remove the extra glitter from the face. But it's kind of hard, you know, to clean glitter once you've dropped it everywhere. <laughs> then I'm gonna get this matte black eyeshadow by MUA and a thinner brush. And I'm gonna draw the crease of my eyes. Don't worry if it's quite messy right now because we're gonna blend it in nicely at some point. Then with this tiny little brush, I'm gonna apply the same eyeshadow under my bottom eyelashes and with a fluffy brush, I'm gonna blend it in nicely. Ooh, what a difference, oh my god. Now a bitch needs eyeliner and I'm just gonna use this normal one by MUA and I'm just gonna do a very simple line. And don't forget your mascara. You know when you see people with full makeup on but no mascara because they forgot? 
well it's not a good look <laughs> and now I'll apply this matte liquid lipstick by Nikak New York it looks kind of brown but it actually dries purple-ish what's good cuz it kind of matches my hair and I like to do the outline first and then just apply it in the middle and today I'm also gonna apply some glitter on the lips to add some dimension and because I like glitter <laughs> And now the makeup is ready. Mmm, damn. I'm so happy with the lips. Now I need some accessories like a septum piercing and a tattoo choker. Maybe one more tattoo choker for good luck. And something has to be done about this hair. <laughs> first things first, I'm gonna brush it very gently or not. <laughs> and I'm gonna apply this lovely heat protection serum and I'll curl just the ends of my hair because when you have dry bleached hair it kind of helps if you curl it, it makes it look a little bit healthier even though it's actually bad for your hair <laughs> what a difference now I'm just gonna apply some hairspray so the curls last all day and because my roots are looking a bit oily I'll also apply some dry shampoo and <laughs> you just have to rub it in as if you were having a shower now we're good to go and I'm just gonna show you my outfit I'm wearing this lovely melting ice cream sweatshirt because I love this tumblery melty style and I combined it with these fake leather shorts with cat eyes because I just love cat eyes they look good with every single outfit and I'm also wearing these black platforms and if it gets too hot later I can just take it off and wear it with this unicorn t-shirt that has some melt themes as well that also goes with the see-through bag I'm wearing that has some glitter and I just put a my little pony in there because uh, that's all you need when you go out let me know in the comments if you would go out wearing this makeup or not <laughs> if you want please follow me on social media especially Instagram because I'm always posting different outfits and stuff there thank you so much for watching and have a very very lovely day mm -hmm. Mwah!